If you've been following along with my PC flipping series, you know that it's important to get the best price to performance ratio of PC parts when we flip PCs. We don't want to go up to a 4090, but we also don't want to do something horrible that's you know 20 years old. We want to give people a product that works, number one, for just ethical reasons, but number two, you don't want to be bogged down with people always coming back and saying, this isn't working the way I want it to. So for you to make good money doing this and to have satisfied customers, it's important to use some of these parts that I'll be talking about in this video. Let's start with the CPU. I almost always go for the Ryzen 5 3600. Now, I know this is slightly outdated. We're already onto the Ryzen 7000 series, but this CPU is insane value. I, this was my first CPU that I ever built with back in like 2019, 2018 era. It still performs incredibly well, even with the newest games, but majority of the time when you're selling a PC, it's for people that just want to play, you know, Counter-Strike, Fortnite, Warzone, like kind of the usual games, Apex. The Ryzen 3600 is perfect for that. Six core, 12 threads, great voltage, frequency, all that good stuff. It is an incredible, incredible price to performance. Next up, CPU cooler. Don't mind all the writing on this one. It's, I have a bunch of extra stuff in here, but the one that I always go for is the Thermalrite X120 RSE. This guy's only like 20 bucks. I, I know people use stock coolers. I use stock, honestly, for a Ryzen 3600, the stock cooler is more than enough, but for just $20, the amount of aesthetics that this cooler adds on top of the cooling that it provides is just, it's unmatched. So when you're selling a PC and you're trying to get the best bang for your buck, this bumps up the quality and the sale price of your PC incredibly well. So definitely recommend this. The motherboards, a constant go-to I talk about on this channel a lot is the ASRock B450M R2.0. Now, this isn't anything special. It's not like an insanely great motherboard that gives you everything that you need, like incredible VRMs or anything like that. But what it does give you is a passable motherboard, good enough temp, you know, VRMs, everything that you need to run a PC with, and it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now, mid-2024, these guys run for anywhere from 80 to 90 bucks. So this is the best bang for your buck that you can get in the motherboard. And it is MATX, but most of the flips we do in this channel are MATX. But we'll talk about that when we talk about the case. Next up, let's talk about storage. Storage really is, is one of the components that doesn't really matter which one you get. Just get the cheapest one at the time, whichever is, you know, has the best deals or whatever it may be. Currently, mid 2024, I'm getting a lot of these King Spec one terabyte M.2 NVMEs. I know a lot of other people use, you know, the SATA drives. I go for the M.2. I just, you know, less cable management, less things to worry about. And really the price difference between an M.2 and a SATA drive is, is just not that big. So I, I'd like to go for this to just keep things simpler and, you know, good write, read write speeds, good game load times, all of that fun, fun stuff. The King Spec usually runs for around like 60 bucks a terabyte right now. It used to be better in 2023, but it's still probably the best deal you'll get. Next up is the RAM. Now, I just put a couple of these in here for you. This is just like the storage. It doesn't matter which one you get. Get the cheapest one at the time. Now, most of the time I go for Team Group. You can get that brand new on Amazon any day for like 50 bucks or whatever it may be. And that's definitely worth it. Other options for RAM are the Trident RGB or the Trident Z RGB. It's kind of one of the ones I go to the most. If you find good Corsair sticks, you're more than welcome to use those. I don't suggest necessarily dishing out the money for Corsair. It's just not really worth it. You don't really need to do it. You know, with the RAM, the quality doesn't really matter as much. Just go for something like a team group that whatever is the cheapest. Next up, power supply. This is one of my go-tos, the MSI A550BN. This is plenty to run a good configuration of, you know, Ryzen 3600 and combined with a low to mid-tier GPU. We'll talk about the GPUs in a second, but this really will run most of the things that you throw at it. Once you start getting into the slightly more power-hungry builds, I would maybe suggest going up to a 650 or a 750, but a lot of the times people way overdo the amount of wattage that you need in your PSU. So this guy is plenty. This goes readily for 50 bucks in mid-2024, so this is my go-to. Now the fun part. The case. You thought I was gonna say graphics card. <laughs> the case is the DIY PC Cubo One. If you watch any of my videos, you know that I talk about fish tank all the time. I think the fish tank cases are the best ones to be able to flip PCs. This guy runs for about 55 bucks mid 2024, and for $55, it adds incredible looks to your PC. I mean, you can throw in like a Ryzen 2600 even with like a 1066 gigabyte, and it's gonna look like an incredible gamer PC for those kids that just wanna play Fortnite. It's MATX. Now this one specifically is narrow MATX. So if you do want to use this one as opposed to the Q3, which is the one I mostly talk about because that can fit the ASRock B450Ms in. If you want to fit a motherboard in this one, the Cubo One, 
you need to get a narrower motherboard. You can watch the review that I have on this one. So for this one, I always use the Gigabyte B450M DS3H Wi-Fi because it's narrower and it runs around the same price as the ASRock B450M AC R2.0. Wow, <laughs> say that five times fast. And it also comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So those two are interchangeable for me. Now, next or last, the graphics card. My go-to to pair with Ryzen 3600 in 2024 is the 5700 XT. Honestly, even this is a little overkill for a lot of people that just want to play, you know, Call of Duty and Fortnite or Apex or whatnot, but you can get these guys in 2024 for around $150 to $170, probably even less if you're looking for a good deal on eBay or local marketplace. They used to be like 120 bucks in 2023, but for mid 2024, it's the best bang for your buck you can get in terms of flipping PCs. They're affordable, they look incredible, and they can run pretty much any game that someone... And if people even want to get into like games like Cyberpunk or any newer game, it will let them play, but I do usually let leave a disclaimer when I'm using something like this that this isn't meant for, you know, the, the newest games. Most of the PC flips that I do are for esports games, and people have been plenty happy with that. Now, the budget-conscious option for this is the RX 580. Ironically enough, my very first PC that I told you was the Ryzen 3600 was paired with an RX 580. I know you're thinking it's 2024, what are you doing with this card? It still runs incredibly well. It still plays pretty much any game you throw at it, esports games, again. And this allows you to keep the cost much lower if you only can sell things up to, you know, four to six hundred dollar range. This is the go-to. If in your market you're able to sell PCs for 600 plus, like going into the seven, eight hundred dollar range, then 5700 XD would be my choice. Anything above eight hundred dollars, I don't suggest to PC flippers, at least when you're starting off, do not go into those. Start with the five $500 to $700 budget, which would be these two graphics cards. So that's about it. I hope this makes sense. There are some compatibility things you need to make sure of, like the case you're getting, if it's something like the Q01, you need to make sure that the motherboard will fit in there. Uh, with the PSU, if you are using a 5700 XT, as you know, a lot of them are very power hungry. So number one, the wattage might not be enough. It is, but you have the two different connectors for it, which something like this will only come with one and you'll have to daisy chain. Now people have different opinions on daisy chaining. I'm mostly okay with daisy chaining, but for flips I try to avoid it just to be safe. But if all you have is something like the MSI A550BN and you want to pair that with something like this XFX RAW 5700 XT, you're fine. Just make sure you do your research, make sure your specific cards fit. If that doesn't work, use PSUs are a great option. I get a lot of the channel well technology ones. Thermal Take makes some really good budget PSUs in the 60 to $70 range. Corsairs will sometimes go on sale, but if you want used PSUs, I'd go to eBay.